Hello again, Dave here. So another thing you can do with Power Sprite Animator is play sprite animations on objects without having to use Unity's animator states. And it's useful um, if you want to control animation through your scripts, which I like to do without having to bother with the state engine-y stuff, um, creating all those, those things. So um, I'll see if I can quickly script a character with a run and idle animation, see how that goes. So I've got the run animation already, and Barney's kindly set me up with um, the sprites for an idle animation too. So I'll click create animation, I'll call it idle, and select the sp idle sprites and whack them in. Um, that seems to, seem to be fine. I might um, just make them a bit slower so it's more obvious. All right, he just does a little bounce. And so that's the sprite. That's the um, animation all set up. So now I will um, I'll just drag a sprite into the um, scene. So here's my scene. Um, so that's my sprite. Um, and I'm going to add a, a sprite anim component, which is the one that um, which you get with the um, Power Sprite Animator asset. Um, you can set a default animation on it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. Um, do it in the script so I can show you how that works. All right, so new script. Let's create a script called runner. All right, runner, um, and I'll call this object up here runner as well. And I'll make him a prefab because that's a good thing to do. All right, and dragging the script onto here. All right, so I've got my script on my, my guy. He's not going to do much at the moment, but let's edit this script and see if we can make him do something cool. Okay, um, so first I'm going to say using power tools and that's the um, the namespace which the sprite anim stuff comes under. Um, so I'm going to add a sprite anim component as well. Um, sprite anim uh, anim and I'm also going to add some editable variables so maybe the, the run speed for the guy um, speed equals zero, I guess. So I'll set it in the editor, and I'm also going to add that the animations I want to play. So public uh, animation clip uh, idle equals null, and the run animation run. All right, and so in my start animate start function, I'm going to uh, set this sprite anim to its component, so anim equals get component uh, sprite anim. Hopefully you're kind of used to this sort of thing. Uh, and I'm also gonna tell it to play the idle animation to start, and anim dot play underscore idle. So that's all you have to do to play an animation, uh, really simple. Um, this component has just the really basic kind of things to be able to play animations, check when animation's playing, stop it. Um, and it's all using Unity's um, normal animation system. It's just got, um, it's just doing a few extra things to make it really simple. Uh, so you can, you know, extend it however you want and and play normal Unity, Unity animations as well um, without, yeah, without messing with your workflow really. Like you can use this just for the simple sprite animations that you've got um, if you want to do that. Um, so now I guess I'll, um, start the actual movement and st like running animation stuff. So I guess I'll get the direction based on my control. So uh, f float direction uh, equals zero. So if you're not pressing anything, it'll be zero. If input dot get key press you know, get key um, key code dot left arrow, then um, direction equals negative one. And if it's the right arrow, right arrow, then the direction will be one. Okay, and if the direction is um, direction, oops, direction equals zero, then I want to, if I'm not already playing the, the uh, idle animation, then I want to play it. So I'll just check if I'm already playing it. I don't want it to keep sort of starting again. Um, if anim dot idle, oh, sorry, anim dot uh, get current animation doesn't equal m underscore idle. So it's not if. Then 
underscore nm dot play idle. All right, I think that's all I have to do for that. So now uh, else if direction no, I guess else. Uh, so otherwise, if you are pressing, if you are moving in a direction, I want it to basically play the run animation. So if the current animation doesn't equal run, play run. And for good measure, I'll um, I'll make him move. So uh, transform dot translate new vector three and uh, direction times speed times time dot delta. So it scales with the frame rate. Uh, don't want to move him in the y or z axis. Uh, and I guess I'll flip him if he's facing left as well. So if transform dot local scale dot x is less than uh, no, it doesn't equal direction, I would make it equal direction. Uh, uh, equals new vector three direction. That's All right. Now. What else is what I've to do? Okay, well, um, so now I've got this runner thing. Let's see if that loads. All right, um, so maybe I'll set the speed to five and I'll hook up my idle animation and my run animation. And let's just see if that works. Fingers crossed I haven't stuffed something up. All right, so we've got him in here. Uh, something's stuffed up. Uh, maybe I made the speed super high or something. Let's just double check what I did. Here's what I did. I had the, I was setting the scale to zero, which is silly. So I set that to one and save, and hopefully it should work. Hit play. That's my guy. I can run. I can run the other way. And yay, it works. All right. So. As I said, that's so that's pretty simple. But um, but if you're used to um, doing stuff in scripts and you want to be able to play animations from scripts without um, having to use this sort of animator thing, um, this animation tool and this uh, animator thing, uh, and having to drag in that the things to this and select whatever you have to do, I don't know. Uh, that is much nicer. Yeah. A lot less, less complicated, good for game jams and little projects, but also if you if you have a workflow like ours, I think it's pretty neat. Alright, uh, thanks for watching again. Bye!